all right so you just install the kitty terminal you open it up and this is what you see it's kind of ugly if you ask me so today i'm going to show you how to quickly configure it this can be a very quick guide you can do it in quite literally two minutes so first things first kitty has this sub command called kitten to configure your kitty for you so we type in kitten themes it will let me choose a theme for me and you can you have a bas basically a whole library of themes to choose from the one i want is desert you can choose whatever you want it's got stuff like node one duck cat poochine everything basically and what would you like to do i'd like to modify the kitty.conf which is the configuration file for kitty to load this theme so that's m so i'm gonna press m on my keyboard and you'll realize that now we have the theme i'm gonna close kitty open it again for everything to apply and now we have the new theme that we want the second thing that we want to choose is our font because right now i don't really like this font you can use it if you want to i'm just gonna write kitten choose fonts to change my font and we can see a list of all of the monospace fonts and i'm simply gonna search for fear code since that's what i use you can select that one press enter enter and we are done now we need to manually edit the kitty config file to add a couple of stuff this is completely optional you can do it if you want to so what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna change the font size so i'm gonna say yes to this and we're gonna change the font size so at the very beginning you're gonna see this we want to go to the very end so you can either scroll down and press in vim or new vim you can press capital g and if you're using emacs with evil mode you can also press that and we're gonna add in the font section here we're gonna add font size 20 you can actually add this anywhere you want doesn't really matter next time you launch kitty it's gonna have a large font size of course you can set it to anything you want to doesn't really matter we can just save that and the next thing i need to change is the padding of the window so right now you can see how the window has no padding whatsoever i like some padding on my window again this is completely optional so i'm gonna add one called window padding and it's just gonna be a window underscore padding underscore width and i'm gonna set it to something like an eight yeah that's fine and the next thing we need to change is the uh, confer confirmation part so right now if i launch kitty you can see that we have the padding if I launch HTOP or any sort of program, I try to close Kitty, it will prevent me from closing it and say, Do you want to close this OS window? It is running HTOP. Now, if you like this, you can just use it. It works. If you don't, then you can add this uh, config line. So I'm going to do OS window close. And it's going to be called confirm underscore OS underscore window underscore close. And we set that to zero for false. So once we do that, when we launch HTOP, close it, it goes away. If I set it to one, if you want it, close it, and it will say, do you want to close it? So there you go. You Congratulations, you've configured Kitty. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a great time. Make sure to give it a like and bye-bye.